Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alva and today I'm going to be talking about weight loss tips and tricks for beginners. If you're not new here, then welcome back guys. So as some of you guys might know, if you guys have been following me, I have lost more than 30 pounds in the span of around 6 months now that I'm moving on to more of a fat loss stage. So trying to put on muscle and change my body composition, I am a little bit in a different stage right now. Not so much weight loss focus, but I'm still in a deficit, deficit meaning that I am eating less calories than my body is burning but when i was more in a weight loss stage my calories were at like a, a good deficit and now i'm kind of close to my maintenance and my goal is to just giving you guys a little bit more information my goal is to get more at a maintenance maintenance being that the calories that i will be eating are going to maintain my weight so i'm not going to be losing weight or gaining weight so i'm kind of headed towards maintenance for a while because seven months of dieting has been a little bit long for me and I went ahead and lost 30 pounds which was my initial goal. So far what I have taken from it, I wanted to give you guys my tips and my tricks for beginners. I have a few things written down. They are mainly tips, not so many like tricks that are like what I would do at the gym or what I would eat. These are more of a getting your mind in the right place and getting yourself just really in the right place to start your fitness a lifestyle change your fitness journey whatever you want to call it to just start a lifestyle change because to me if you want to lose weight it should be a lifestyle change therefore you could maintain the weight off riyakuma coming through so the number one thing i have written down is have a plan so it doesn't have to be a super rigid plan it should be something that starting off as a beginner fits into your lifestyle. Make a plan, write it down on your phone, write it down in a notebook. What days do I work? What are my available times? Think it out. Okay, I could go to the gym Monday, Friday, and Saturday. All right, so I'm gonna go Monday, Friday, and Saturday for an hour, right, et cetera, et cetera. Just literally having a plan like that, starting off with how many times do you wanna be working out? And then what are you going to do for your nutrition? to make a change and I say what because there's a lot of approaches out there that people have you could do flexible dieting that's what I do that's what I would recommend I like flexible dieting because it allows me the ability to live like the type of lifestyle that I like as in going out with my friends or going out to dinner with my husband and just honestly going out to eat I would consider myself someone who just likes the general idea of going out to eat and picking items out and like having that social moment. I'm not so much a foodie, I kind of eat the same foods over and over again, which is really boring, but I do like to go out to eat. So for me, flexible dieting was a really big thing, also because I like to fit in sweet things and to be quite honest, I like like, you know, Halo Top and protein donuts and protein bars, you know, all of that stuff that could be deemed as unhealthy. But I will go ahead and list down below people that I watch that have really informative videos on this topic of flexible dieting, macros. Also, diets that people take on, like a lifestyle that people take on, for example, some people, you know, they take on a vegan lifestyle. Some people take on paleo. Paleo, I believe it's just unprocessed eating like 100% unprocessed foods and like grains and stuff. There's keto, like there's a lot of different approaches that people take to their nutrition. So inform yourself, find something that you feel would work for yourself. You can meal prep too, that's an approach a lot of people do and just have a set out for the week. I would recommend calorie counting. You 100% need to be in a deficit, a caloric deficit. That means you're eating less calories than your body is burning. Um, you need to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight. So having that plan down somewhere where you could see it, how many days you're going to be working out, what you're going to be eating, or what approach you're going to be taking on to eating. So that's my number one tip. Sorry if it was a long one, but definitely have a plan, write it down, put it somewhere where you could see it, where you could hold yourself accountable to your plan. Inform yourself. Inform yourself. Please inform yourself. Please use Google. Do not be afraid to like go on Instagram and find accounts and go on YouTube and watch other YouTubers and see the approach they have taken, see what they do. Like I said, I do flexible dieting. I do the macro approach to my diet, my lifestyle, but a lot of people do so many different types of things. They do paleo, they do intuitive eating, they do clean eating. Like there's a lot of things out there when it comes down to nutrition. There's also so many things out there when it comes down to working, to working out and working workouts oh my god you guys literally i'm like 
almost sometimes I almost get mad at myself that I didn't do this research earlier because literally everything everything is out there all you need to do is put your little fingers to work take the time to really research and get involved I feel like at first no shade to any fitness youtubers because I love all of you guys but at first it might be a, if you're used to watching makeup tutorials and that's what you like maybe watching fitness videos is not really gonna like be a thing for you you know but you have to see it like in a way of like for example school you want to get a nail on your test you might not want to study but you're going to you're gonna take the time to read it if you want to get that A bad enough right you know what I'm saying that's how I saw it in the beginning I was kind of like what are they talking about what are they doing I would, could never do something like that. I couldn't even imagine me putting the bar on my back for squats. I was like, I'm a fall. Like, in the beginning, it was kind of awkward for me. And I just kind of would hear and watch. But I got the hang of it. And I started off like that. And I would go on even Pinterest. And I would look up, like, leg workouts. And, like, save the Pinterest. And then go to Planet Fitness. And, like, look at my phone before I did something. And then try it out or try it out at home before I left to the gym. And, you know, just really there's so much information on the internet. And you really have to take the time to actually hear and read even in times where that might that might not be interesting to you if you want it bad enough i would really utilize the internet a lot of people ask me about my workout plans you guys i watch a lot of videos and i'll literally be like okay i like this workout and then i'll take that workout and i'll do it the next day or i'll take something from that workout that i like and I mix it with this other person's workout oh i want to try that and then i take that and i write it down or i'll keep um, photos of it and um, I'll go ahead and I'll practice that at the gym or whatever so there's a lot of information out there there's a lot of different opinions out there you have to remember that don't be afraid to kind of test the waters and see what works out for you just be careful with going to extreme um there's a lot of apps out there I use life sum to count my macros so I know a lot of people use my fitness pal moving on to tip number three is be realistic by being realistic, I mean, don't expect to wake up every day feeling like Kobe Bryant, okay? Like some days you're gonna wake up, you're not gonna feel great, you're not gonna wanna go to the gym, you're not gonna wanna eat your food, like you're not gonna wanna do these things, you're probably gonna wanna eat whatever the hell you want and not be accountable and not go to the gym. So you have to understand that you're going to have these days where you don't feel great. That's part of being realistic. I think a lot of people expect to be motivated the entire time. Do you know how hard it would be to stay motivated the seven months <laughs> that I have gone with the lifestyle change so far? Can you guys imagine other people who have been on a lifestyle change who wanted to be healthier long term? I'm sure there's days where like they're not 100%. Do not rely on your motivation. Do not rely on your feelings. Do not. You need to rely on your discipline, your hard work, and just simply your actions. I want to eat the five cookies, but I'm just not. I'm just going to go upstairs and I'm going to go on my phone. That's what I do. Or I'm going to have some water instead. I'm going to have some tea or I'll have, I don't know, this healthier alternative halo top, right? If we relied solely on motivation, I feel like a lot of us humans would have not gotten to the places where we have gotten to and we would have not met our goals like we wanted to if you could if you're the type of person that could drop like 20 pounds in a week and your goal was just to lose like 50 pounds or something and you went to like extreme measures to lose those 20 pounds chances are it's gonna be kind of hard to keep them on so don't it's when you see it in the sense of okay the faster that I want to see these results the more chances I'm gonna have at like rebounding type of thing or the chances I'm gonna have at this being more difficult when it's all said and done like when you lose the weight now what you know like are you just gonna go back to eating the way you used to because chances are if you do it's not like it's not gonna work out it's gonna be a circle right so you have to see it in that type of way and understand that if you do it in a sustainable way it's going to be better for you in the long term and also understand that being realistic means there might be a week where you lose five pounds and then the next week you don't lose any weight that 100 percent happens there was weeks where i would lose like three four pounds like max and then another week for like two weeks i wouldn't lose any weight even right now i'm kind of plateauing understand that weight loss you kind of do look at the scale but when it comes down to fat loss 
and body recomposition you don't always have to look at the scale if that makes sense and for that I'll go ahead and link my friend and someone that I work with and I do my macro plan based she does it for me she's great she's an amazing coach that is Christine from Gage Real Training she preaches a lot about not looking at the scale and that's another thing there's a lot of ways to look at your progress obviously the scale is there and it is a helpful tool and I feel like for me that was something that I used a lot but there's the mirror and there's progress photos and there's measurements and those things do not lie my fourth tip is eat foods you like that is a simple one you guys just eat foods you like I know maybe if you're not like a protein person as far as like you don't really like fish and you don't really like chicken just try and find things recipes really take the time to look at recipes on Pinterest really take the time to um look find recipes online on YouTube that will just give you foods that you like for example I'm a big sweet person I love chocolate I love ice cream like my shit i can eat it all the time so i found like halo top i found kodiak cakes which these things are things that allow me to stay within my macros any foods i like and i like chicken and i like fish and i like a lot of hot sauce and i like a lot of like pepper so i make these meals that i like i pretty much always eat foods that i like some of these things might not be considered healthy like for example i made the change of like i dropped soda even on days where I'm allowing myself some room, I don't have sodas because I have found diet sodas. And I know it's just not as good, but it it's a change and it'll kind of help you get to your goals. And it just overall helps you keep the weight off and just help which in terms, which in result helps you to just kind of be healthier. A lot of people will, you know, say, oh, well, Halo Top, it's like chemicals and sugar alcohols, etc. Okay, but it's sustainable. It is sustainable in my diet and it's not gonna like completely throw me off track. Tip number five is do not rely on other people. And I say this because I feel like sometimes, like for example, Ruben has lost weight in this time too, right? And he is my husband, I love him so much, but I don't rely on him to be like, my like fitness partner Ruben does not count macros all he did was cut out some things and play basketball for like two hours a day right and there's been weekends where like we go somewhere and this man will go on like he'll go crazy he'll have like sodas on sodas he'll have like candy literally eats whatever his heart desires he could do that I can't but I don't rely on like I'll judge him a little bit I'll be like oh my god you're really gonna eat that but I don't rely on that on him to keep me and check with my stuff do you know what i mean so i think that's a really big thing don't rely on other people to help you stay on track you really have to understand that this is like a personal thing dial in and be in zone with yourself and really like i guess check in with yourself and you could talk to people that you trust about this and your process and like your progress and they could help you stay accountable but you can't expect them to like be an example for you even people on the internet you guys we all fuck up like <laughs> the fitness you know model that is like your inspo i get it i love looking at people for inspiration and admiration i think it's wonderful but you need to understand that like everyone has their slip ups and your journey is your journey it is personal it is your journey so six is just do it like nike says literally just do it it's, i'm telling you there's gonna be days where you don't want to go to the gym where you don't want to go work out when you don't want to eat your chicken and rice although that sounds really good there's gonna be days where you want to eat all of the chips ahoy me my problem believe me there's gonna be these days that's why i'm saying you just have to do it there's days where i don't want to go to the gym but let me tell you i have never regretted a workout even if it's a crappy workout i have never regretted a workout ever honestly the more you like something the more really won't be a problem for you to do it so find something you like i like to weight train i don't really care for cardio that much but i like to weight train so that's something that i try and do because even on days where i don't feel like doing it it makes it easier for the process to do it. i try and find things that i like on days that i don't feel like doing it don't be afraid to try new things like if you're ever getting bored of something and you're just not feeling it you don't want to do it don't be afraid to try new things i actually want to try yoga I want to try like the classes that my gym offers i have to like really you know actually go through and do it my seventh tip is something really simple and that is keep a journal mine is actually on my phone and i just log i don't log daily but i probably log every three days sometimes i do log daily it just depends i'll just 
right in there, blah, 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 this is how I'm feeling, blah, 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 this is what I'm eating, blah, 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 blah. And it just kind of really helps you stay accountable and stay in a good place with your lifestyle change because you have to understand that it is a change. If you were used to just eating whatever you wanted and that's kind of why you gained weight, which is what happened with me, you have to understand that like you're not going to be able to go back to eating like that. And it's okay because it's going to be for a better you. Not only talking about physical appearance and the aesthetics of a body, but talking about a better you for your body, for the way you feel, for your health, for a longer life for a better life is kind of what I'm trying to say. Changing the way I eat and losing weight, I just feel like my body and just as a person, I feel a lot better. Going back to those journals and like writing just really helps me kind of like clear out my head if I'm feeling stressed out or whatever it is. If I wanna log, you know, measurements or if I wanna log, whatever it is, I kind of like let it flow and let my change, my lifestyle change, my nutrition, my workouts, whatever, uh, how I'm feeling. I let it flow in a journal. And number eight is what I kind of was talking about. Understand that it is a change for the better and do your best to enjoy it. Like, yeah, it could be hard sometimes to be like, I'm not gonna be able to eat hamburgers, chicken nuggets. I mean, technically you could if you want. You could also remember that you technically could do whatever you want. You know, but for me or whatever, oh, I can't eat pizza, chicken nuggets, and a burger and cake and cookies and ice cream all in the same day like but understanding that it is for the better is what really makes it worthwhile and it's completely like i feel like once you understand that it's for the better for yourself it just makes it in my opinion easier and just understanding that once you understand that i feel like it's kind of like an epiphany lastly is just understand your goal have a goal and be pretty clear about your goal you could whatever works best for you you could change the goal as you go if you want to start off by okay i want to lose five pounds okay now i want to lose another five pounds all right now i think i want to lose 10 pounds whatever it may be right let's say you're like 50 pounds overweight and you want to start off gradually like that i think that's a great idea if you want to start off with like i want to lose 50 pounds that's a great idea too whatever works for you but understand that you have that goal and that is your goal and also understand that it could change for me once i got to a weight or once i got to like a dress size i knew that my goal was going to change so it was okay now we're going to move into fat loss body recomposition some muscle building and you could even then have certain goals like okay i want to learn how to do the splits i want to hit this weight in my squat you know i want to get stronger i want to be able to do a handstand i want to be able to do a pull up things like that right like i want to do two to three new healthy meals experiment what did i do when i started working out so i used to do i want to say my cardio first i used to do like 20 minutes of cardio but i stopped as soon as i started to weight train more and then i would do like some body exercises so like kickbacks where you're just you know on the yoga mat like a lot of body weight movements i would do i would do the machines that were i still do the machines that are like kind of ready and equipped to go you kind of just have to either research them beforehand or they literally have a guide there that will kind of show you in a quick way that doesn't even it's not that helpful i would say youtube whatever the machine is called or don't be afraid to ask an employee or a trainer that works there if you don't want to i totally understand so definitely try and find those machines on the internet what i basically do still is i warm up for like five to ten minutes and then i hit the weights literally for like an hour and a half so that's pretty much my workout and then at the end i do cardio if i am having more and i do about 20 minutes of cardio sometimes i did more though so it just kind of really depends if i um i'm having more of a cardio day i'll do i still do weights but i do it either light weights or i do um a shorter amount and then i'll do like 40 minutes or 30 minutes whatever it may be cardio i also sometimes will do pilometrics or circuit training like the ropes i think that's trx like there's just a lot of things that you could do like I like circuit training for cardio. You guys can Google circuit training and kind of see what that looks like or YouTube it. I stopped eating out every day because that's just like, in my opinion, unnecessary. And I do think that if you eat out like all the time, you have to be counting your macros in my opinion or else you can get lost in the sauce of super like calorically dense foods, meaning something tiny that'll have like 200 calories. So I wanted to make sure that I could still eat out like on the weekends or maybe like twice a week with my husband so i made it a lifestyle change into where i learned about macronutri macronutrients and that allowed me to um 
really be flexible and do things like go to the movies and do things like hang out with friends get frozen yogurt even get ice cream get coffee go to starbucks things like that all right you guys so those were my tips and tricks i really hope that this video was at least a little bit helpful to you guys if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos on this topic maybe talk about more specific things let me know it down below in the comments and make sure again that you like the video so that i know that you guys liked it if you're not subscribed and you would like to be you'd like to see some mo go ahead and subscribe thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night.